Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel, man. And today we are going to talk about how much it costs for my heads and cam build on my Rapid Blue Camaro SS1 LE that was built by K-Tech, man. So I know it's been a long time since I dropped a video. Usually y'all would have had like two videos by now, but man, your boy been slacking, man, because I'm dealing with boxes on boxes trying to you know clean up the garage a little bit so i can bring my car back in here and stuff like that man and adjusting to the new arizona weather and the time zone man because it's been killing me being three hours back because i'm like on eastern time physically but mentally and stuff i'm in mountain time or whatever i think that's what it is over here but for you guys that's new to my channel um I'm going to walk you guys through the exterior, what I have done, the interior, what I have done real quick, and then we're going to go right into the to the meat and potatoes of this video, which is the motor, which everybody cares about. So, with that being said, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so for y'all who are completely new to my channel, man, um this is the exterior of the car of course so there's not too much done the car is pretty much stock looking there's pretty much nothing i haven't done that's not out the factory pretty much what i did was i ppdf this rear quarter panel here i added the zl1 deluxe rock guards i also added a ppf on the rocker panel and as y'all can see here i need to replace this ppf but ppf has been doing its work here man it's not messed up it's like when i went to a road course someone lost like a fender or something like that i forgot what it was i think it was a splash guard and i was behind it and i hit it and y'all can see the marks right here and up there too man so the ppf has been doing this job i just need to replace that so that's good um i got the fender and PP, uh, PPDF, this whole front bumper PPDF, the lights are our PPDF as well. I added the tow hook, actually, I added the tow hook, but it was a gift, shout out. Um, I'm drawing a blank on his name, I wanna say it's Derek. Shout out to Derek, man, that gave me this nice little gift, man, on the tow hook, it matches well with the car with the red brake calipers, man. Um, and so far, my front windshield is tinted. 50% tint on the front windshield ceramic and on the side I got 20% tint uh, and that's pretty much it was done on the exterior of this car there's nothing really else uh, done to it oh besides uh, I get this question asked a lot too man like this emblem this emblem man um, you can get this from emblem pros so emblem pros I get that question asked a lot that's where I got my emblem from I'm going to ask for that particular color because I want it to be matching the theme of the car. And it gave me that ZL1 uh, type of feel. As we go into the interior of this car, everything is pretty much in here stock. The only few things I added was I got the exclusive 1LE uh, car mats. They stopped making those, so I'm glad I got them when I, can, when I could. I also added these here. This carbon fiber on this side and that side, nothing else. I'm gonna get the dash uh, sometime soon. I got it over the radio trim. I might replace that because the one I had did go around here. And this one don't. Um, and I got this here. Um, as we looking into the car, I know people been asking me questions about it too. And I have the blue stitching. Um, as y'all can see, it's looking pretty fairly well. I did this about a couple months ago. So I'll do a review on that later, but that's pretty much what's done in here. Nothing else. That's pretty much what we get. So while we in here, let's get to what people really care about. And that is this motor. Okay, so here it goes. So from the outside looking in, man, you would just think I'm full bolt on E85 uh, SS1 LE. But as we walk through here, there is some things that I did have done. This does not come out the factory. This is by Dead Brand Design. Shout out to Dead Brand Designs on this plate. Um, I just got it stuck on here by 3, 3M tape. I don't know, can you guys see that between there? But it's stuck on there by 3M tape, it's not drilled in. 
uh, signatures by Al Oppenheiser, who is the Camaro chief engineer. Um, but now we're gonna get straight into the mods, man. So what I have done to this setup. So I have the LT2 intake manifold ported by GPI. I believe K Tech did some work to it too because they modify it too um, and do they porting. So ported by GPI and K Tech. I got the Tony Memo ported throttle body, which makes this a 91 millimeter throttle body instead of the 87. Um, the dry Rotofab cold air intake. The 160 degree thermostat, man. This is like, ooh, this does a lot of work by K-Tech. They want the best to do it. Um, the ATI super damper. So that helps out a lot with the Gates belt. I don't know, can you guys see it? But this is like Gates built all through here. Uh, so they replaced that for me. I also have the Mishimoto um, catch can. And I have the K-Tech. They got a thicker wire here. I don't know, can you guys see it a little bit? If I zoom in. But they got a thicker, they got their own specialized wire um, there. I have, they got their own little sleeves here. For the wires, I have Cooks 1 and 7 8 headers, ceramic coated, catless all the way through to the stock MPP setup. Um, everything else, uh, I got the E85. It's pretty much like the DSX setup where I like it because it's clean. As y'all can see, it's not like the lethal Camaro on setup where you got two two wires. It's just one wire going straight into the fuel line, which I like that it's a little bit clean. And then it just maps all the way through here and connects, which is pretty nice. And then after that, that's pretty much it. You all won't be able to see nothing else because everything else is done into the engine. And as y'all can see here, I got the heads ported by K-Tech. They drilled that on both sides, which that's pretty nice. And um, they will put your logo or whatever if you want it there. Uh, you really can't see it, but that's extra cost if you want it done. Um, so I got my heads ported. I got my valve train done. Uh, I have the BTR valve train. Uh, um, what else? I'm trying to go through the list. I have a cam in here. I got the K-Tech Torker LT1 cam in here. If you guys don't know what that sound like, check out this cold start. With that being said, um, I did get the heads ported out to the max as possible. Um, only thing I didn't do on this setup was I didn't mill the heads. Uh, but everything else has been done. Um, I did get my valve train um, done, like I said, my valve stems done, my valve reconditioning. And uh, yeah, they pretty much took the motor out, did everything that I completely asked for. Um, oh, I got bronze chi guy valves, guides, and a lot of stuff that you all would not see on top of this motor. Um, but it's most likely inside the motor. That's where it happens, uh, where the magic happens. So, with that being said, if you guys want to know, like, okay, Anthony, how much did you spend on this particular build? And on this particular build setup, it cost me 13K. Yes, man, it cost me 13K for this particular setup, man. And the reason why it costs that much is because that's part of their package because they have two packages that you can get on their website. They have a K-Spec package, which is pretty much bare minimum, which is the LT2 setup, heads and cam. That's it. That doesn't include um, E85. That doesn't include headers. That doesn't include um, 
anything else but i did get a nice little discount off of that because i had some of these parts already installed but if you're going in there getting the same package like this without the e85 it will be like 12 grand alone i think like 12 grand easy so that's what bumped my price up to like 14 grand because i did have like the headers but i needed them to install that and i want them to add a little bit more parts that was on their stage three package which mattered to me most so i can have this car perform we don't have no issues whatsoever um because the ati dampener is one that's not part of their package the chi um bronze valves and all that stuff that's for the valve train and stuff that's not part of that package that's probably like they stage three package which is like 20 grand but I'm, I did like a hybrid between the two of what really matters most. So that's why I say this is like the blueprint of it because you can get it, but it depends on like what your budget is. But uh, that is the price of this particular setup that I have here. In the next video, I will share with you guys like how much horsepower that this has made to it. The numbers that I'm giving to you guys um, is... Uh, me, my car being tuned on 91 octane so that's what you all will see my dyno results which is not bad for this to be on 91 octane it made a lot of power it made a lot of torque and you guys may ask me the question like why did why didn't you um go with the msd and the reason why i did not go with the msd don't get me wrong i feel like every build has the msd and plus for me personally i did not want to lose that low end torque with the LT2 intake manifold, you do not lose no torque whatsoever, especially with this cam complementing it. I did not lose no torque. I gained more torque and I gained more power on the upper end too because I just revved this car out today because it's my first time like really taking it out because there was a car meet and uh, this car pushes hard to like 7200 RPMs, man. So it's crazy how it pulls like a train man so it's nice that i'm getting that msd type of uh power out of this and the car running efficient man so that's gonna wrap this video up man that is giving you guys like a walk through how much it costs for my particular build setup and everything oh and i forgot to tell you guys like i did add these these markers there that was like 30 dollars. i did a video on that for all uh for but yeah that is a setup i do a video like cost breaking it down how much every single thing costs on this car man but i'll say that for another video but if you guys like this video y'all know what to do man hit that like button subscribe and if y'all like cars like this y'all know who to do follow the moc and that is q the chaotic race car friends and 100 gang nate and like that we out